you should have read the chapter on programming first, huh? <laughs> or maybe at least the introduction. If you had, you would have known that you do not format a hard drive with a ball paid hammer. Looks like you blew out the VTR and SCSI with a little extra juice in the gooey, Maxi Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice, Ernie. Oh, no problem, Oxy Waxy. That's what study partners are for. So, you ready to get started on our next mind-blowing challenge in the wonderful world of computers? Ha, ha, ha. I was thinking, perhaps we could write a program that both answers the telephone and the statistical correlation between raindrops and fractal design. Or, if you like, we could design an optical read-write drive that stores over 200 gigabytes and is smaller than a pack of cards. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, we might roll up our sleeves and dive right into some artificial neural nets. <laughs> I get goosebumps. Why are we in here? Look, Ernie. Ernie, I know we were assigned as study partners, okay? But uh, it's just not working out. I don't feel bad, Maxie Waxy. Everybody blows up the computer now and then. <laughs> and they call me a dopus. <laughs> uh, Ernie, I think from now on we should work separately. You do not want to be my partner anymore. Well, no, no, it's just that, um, you already know all this stuff, and, and I don't want to hold you back. Do you, you understand? Yeah, sure, I understand. I just thought that maybe we could be pals. Hmm, I think you hurt his feelings. I didn't mean to. It's not personal. I just can't stand him. What's it say? That says Burge wants to see me right away. Guess I'll have to miss the computer lab. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> 204, 205, 206. Bingo, here it is. Something tells me I'm not in Kansas anymore. Actually, you are. Max, the world's in crisis. Hostile aliens have passed Mars and will land in just three hours. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Verge. So, where should we hide, hmm? Ah, uh, I hear Jupiter is nice this time of year. Max, my boy, you are Earth's only hope. You know, I knew you were going to say that. Come on, man, what about the Air Force or the UN or Arnold Schwarzenegger? I mean, we don't want to hog all the glory for ourselves. I'm afraid the alien ships are invisible to radar, and your military is just no match for their superior firepower. Oh, and I am? How about Normie? I have a really good feeling about him. I eat aliens for breakfast. <laughs> you see? They're even on his diet. Max, remember, you are the mighty one. Thanks a lot. I almost forgot. Only you have the ability to get to the spaceship in time to save the planet. Will you do it? Hmm. Well, I sure would hate to do my homework, only to discover the world's being destroyed anyway. Okay, okay, I'll save the world. But let's not make this a habit, okay? Good. There's no time to lose. We must leave at once. Uh, I could do without this part. Hey, you guys, did I ever mention I get motion sickness? Watch your first step is Lawsuit City. Coolness! All those comic books I read were right! Hear that? I hope one of us has on a paper or we could be in big trouble. Look for a light switch. That's my nose. Oops, sorry. I believe I have my bearings now. Follow me and we'll be at our goal in no time at all. Um, perhaps we turned left when we should have turned right. Duh. Hey, Birch! How come you can't fly? I learned to read instead. Or are these aliens kind of on the weird side?
this must be the think tank, huh? Help! Help! I can't swim! Oh, oh. You can't fly, you can't swim. You okay? I may have swallowed a little water. <laughs> and perhaps a brain. Hey, cool threads. Not exactly this fall's fashions, but they'll do. Well, how do I look? Like a chicken in an alien costume. Let's go. just live for that sort of thing, don't you, Norm? Something tells me this is the key to stopping the aliens. You are right. If you can disrupt the aliens' computers, they cannot invade. That disc is Earth's only hope. Mankind's fate is again in your hands, mighty Max. No matter what happens, don't lose that disc. Whatever the obstacles, the danger, the enormous odds, persevere. Just when it seems darkest. Burge, maybe you could lighten up on the pressure. Just a little... It's okay. We work here. Swing ship. Hey, didn't we meet at the company picnic last year? Intruders. Way to go, Verge. If I get my brain sucked out, it'll be on your head. Which way to the portal? I'm not sure there's one on board this ship for another, oh, 32 minutes. Great. What kind of a wise chicken are you? Didn't you think of calling ahead? Hey, wait. Why not take the bus? <laughs> Nothing like hands-on training. Unhand me or you'll hear from my solicitor. Fifty to two. Harvest seems fair. I'll fight with my eyes closed. Virgil! Norman! Mankind's fate, mighty one. No matter what happens, don't lose that disc. No, one of these things gotta do something. Remember to fill the tank. Because I don't think we'll be passing the gas station for the next 50 zillion miles. At least they didn't run into any rush hour traffic. Oh, just a few logarithmic adjustments, and I will have invented the greatest video game since... The last video game I invented! <laughs> Ernie! Ernie, let me in! I need your help! Did I hear a voice? Is someone trying to talk to me? No! Who would want to talk to me? Who would need my help? Come on, Ernie! Oh, how humiliating having to suck up to a nerd! It's your old pal, Maxi Waxy. <clears throat> Real nice room you got, Ern. Cool microchip bedspread. Look, Ernie, this is an emergency! No! I was only one computation away. You erased my legacy! I'm sorry, Ernie, but the world as we know it is on the verge of being destroyed. Brain-sucking aliens with an attitude are on their way to turn Earth into a giant smorgasbord. Man, I barely escaped with a shuttlecraft that I ditched nearby. You're the only one who can help me stop them, Ern. Oh, yeah, Lord. Like, you expect me to fall for that old one? <laughs> Traveling at the speed of light, it will take 4.3 years to reach the Earth from the nearest star. That is a long trip just for dinner and no show. Uh, uh, hop, hop, Ernie, you caught me. I was fooling, but I couldn't trick you, you smarty pants. 
Ashley, I just got a great new computer game that's about an alien invasion. And I thought... A game about alien invasions? Get it, get it! Funny, I never even heard of this one. Pretty cool, huh? So what do you think? Well, I've never seen anything like it. It doesn't even seem to be a game. Where did you say you got us? Big rouse! Hey, if you are hungry, there is something in the fridge. There really isn't any game, is there? This is one of those real aliens, right? No, it's my grandma. Run for it! My mom always told me to check caution. Come on! You do not look this way. Okay, look, Ernie. The Earth and my friends are in trouble. I need your help, man. Why should I help? You wouldn't even be my study partner just because the other kids think I am a nerd. I almost having my brain sucked out. Gives me an appetite. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. And maybe if I had to do it all over again, I'd take you as my partner. But we don't have time right now. Okay. I will help, just as long as you take me with you. Oh, no, 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 you wouldn't like it, Ern. It's a long flight, and the food stinks, and nothing but brains. But I am your partner! Look, I'm tired of being a nerd. I, I want to do something important. Besides, you have no choice. You cannot save the world without me. Okay. Okay, you can go. Man, I never realized saving the Earth would come at such a high price. The aliens won't know what hit them. I reprogrammed the disc on my laptop. All we ever got to do is pop it into their computer and in 15 minutes, car boom! You sure it'll work? Does a motor running at 57,600 bits per second need hardware compression? <laughs> It is so incredible. Wow! This computer system is really something. I have died and gone to heaven. Shh. If you don't keep it down, you make it your wish. That's it, Foxy Waxy. In 15 minutes, the Big Bang Theory becomes reality. Thanks to yours, truly. Boy, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good job. Now, let's go look for Virgil and Norman. You know, I really outdid myself this time. How, you ask, did I do it? Let me explain. Later, someone or thing is coming. You know, they may be planet after me, or a solar system, or maybe a whole galaxy. The galaxy, Ernie! Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? If we don't get out of here, they'll be naming an entree after you. Have you ever considered a vow of silence? Whew. I wonder why they put us somewhere so cold. Perhaps our alien hosts don't wish us to spoil. Well, hey, <laughs> the joke's on them. In 12 minutes, we'll all be blown to smithereens. <sighs> Nothing ever goes right in my life. First, no one likes me because I am smart. And now I am about to wind up as space debris. And I just cannot win. People don't dislike you because you're smart. They dislike you because you're obnoxious. All you do is talk, talk, talk. I only talk a lot because I want to make friends. So... Have you made any friends? Well... No! Then get a clue! If you want me to be quiet, just say so I can take a hint. I am not one of those people who just talks on endlessly, boring everyone, rambling on and on and on, listening to nothing but their own voice constantly. Shut up! Ten minutes left before the final curtain. I can't see how things could get any worse. I'd go like this. 
funny I was wearing a dress. Perhaps it's not as painful as it appears. I welcome pain. Yeah, pain is Norman's middle name. If I had just a little time, I could program. I'd start routine to override the system and terminate the primary command sequence. I do not. That was pretty quick thinking, Ern. Hey, I may be a nerd, but I am not a dweeb. We must hurry, mighty one. The ship will pass another portal in minutes. It's the only way back. Come on, I think I know a shortcut. Oh, I don't believe it. It's locked. Doesn't anyone trust anyone anymore? I've got an idea. I wanted to do that since I got here. This is the spot. So where's the portal, Verge? And how come the cap didn't light up? Oh my, the disk must have altered the spacecraft's coordinates. The portal's outside the ship. We're almost out of time. We'll have to use the spaceship to get back to the portal. I wonder what the penalty is for Grand Theft Mothership. It looks just like in the video arcades. Ernie, take over the lasers. I bet you're a natural. Oh, no, I do not think it is quite the same. I'm sure the aliens play the more sophisticated video games. I know you can do it, dude. You're not a nerd. I'm not sure. Most of the evidence seems to indicate otherwise. Okay, you want to be a hero? Well, here's your chance, partner. Try flying the mothership through the portal. Hey, Virgil, can a ship this size make it through? I believe we're about to find out in three seconds. For a computer nerd, you're okay. And I'm happy to be your friend. Put her there, partner. We do make a pretty good team, do we not? <laughs> Thanks, Max. I cannot wait until I tell everyone about our trip! Uh, I don't think that's really a good idea. You remember about keeping your mouth shut? Those guys are canning. Hey, everybody! You will not believe what happened! I was in outer space! I saved the universe from brain sucking aliens! Ow! Cannibals? Well, I tried. Okay, come on, let's go save him. He may be a so so dweeb, but everyone seems to want him over for dinner. This week, we made quick work of those pesky brain sucking aliens. And to do that, we had to go deep into space. Hey, I bet you didn't know that space-time is actually curved and that scientists are moving toward a theory that unifies quantum mechanics and general relativity in a quantum theory of gravitation. <laughs> Tune in next week and I'll tell you what that means. See you then. Some projectors. Uh, 
Oh, man. Maybe I should have read the chapter on programming first, huh? <laughs> or maybe at least the introduction. If you had, you would have known that you do not format a hard drive with a ball paid hammer. Looks like you blew out the BTR and SCSI with a little extra juice in the gooey, Maxie Waxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice, Ernie. Oh, no problem, Maxie Waxy. That's what study partners are for. So, you ready to get started on our next mind-blowing challenge in the wonderful world of computers? <laughs> I was thinking, perhaps we could write a program that both answers the telephone and all statistical correlation between raindrops and fractal design. Or, if you like, we could design an optical read-write drive that stores over 200 gigabytes and is smaller than a pack of cards. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, we might roll up our sleeves and dive right into some artificial neural nets. <laughs> I get goosebumps. Why are we in here? Look, Ernie. Ernie, I know we were assigned to study partners, okay? But it's just not working out. I don't feel bad, Maxie Waxie. Everybody blows up a computer now and then. And they call me a dope us. Uh, Ernie, I think from now on we should work separately. You do not want to be my partner anymore. Well, no, no. It's just that uh, you already know all this stuff, and I don't want to hold you back. Do you understand? Yeah, sure, I understand. I just thought that maybe we could be pals. Mm, I think you hurt his feelings. I didn't mean to. It's not personal. I just can't stand him. What's it say? That says Burge wants to see me right away. Guess I'll have to miss the computer lab. <laughs> what a shame. Five, two, oh, six. Bingo, here it is. <laughs> Something tells me I'm not in Kansas anymore. Actually, you are. Max, the world's in crisis. Hostile aliens have passed Mars and will land in just three hours. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Verge. So, where should we hide, hmm? Ah, uh, I hear Jupiter is nice this time of year. Max, my boy, you are Earth's only hope. You know, I knew you were gonna say that. Come on, man, what about the Air Force or the UN or Arnold Schwarzenegger? I mean, we don't want to hog all the glory for ourselves. I'm afraid the alien ships are invisible to radar, and your military is just no match for their superior firepower. Oh, and I am? H how about Normie? I have a really good feeling about him. I eat aliens for breakfast. You see? They're even on his diet. Max, remember, you are the mighty one. Thanks a lot. I almost forgot. Only you have the ability to get to the spaceship in time to save the planet. Will you do it? Hmm. Well, I sure would hate to do my homework, only to discover the world's being destroyed anyway. Okay, okay, I'll save the world. But let's not make this a habit, okay? Good. There's no time to lose. We must leave at once. <laughs> I could do without this part. Hey, you guys, did I ever mention I get motion sickness? <laughs> Watch your first step as Lawsuit City. Coolness! All those comic books I read were right! Hear that? I hope one of us has on a paper or we could be in big trouble. For a light switch. That's my nose. Oops, sorry. I believe I have my bearings now. Follow me and we'll be at our goal in no time at all. Um, perhaps we turned left when we should have turned right. Duh. Hey, Birch! How come you can't fly? I learned to read instead. Or are these aliens kind of on the weird side? Hmm, this 
must be the think tank, huh? Help! Help! I can't swim! Oh, oh. You can't fly, you can't swim!